Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene appeared on a cable TV show in Georgia, and in this particular episode, Georgians had the opportunity to actually call in and express the way that they feel about how Marjorie Greene has been representing the state of Georgia. And as you're going to see, they gave her an earful and she didn't know what to do. So she basically just sat there and smiled awkwardly. This was incredibly entertaining and uh, satisfying to watch. So I've got a clip to show you of one of the constituents just torching her the entire time. But first, I do want to read you this really brief summary from People Magazine that kind of tells you how the entire episode went for her. So polarizing Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene faced criticism from some of her own constituents during a Wednesday radio and cable TV appearance when a caller to the program deemed her an embarrassment to the state of Georgia. The moment came while the Republican lawmaker was participating in a call-in episode of the local TV show Night Talk. Among the listeners who called into the program was one who was no fan of 47-year-old Green. I just want to say, thank God for Joe Biden, one caller said, adding that they felt Green was an embarrassment to the state of Georgia. So for them to call in and say, thank God for Joe Biden, they're just purposefully trying to trigger her. You know, it used to be conservatives triggering the libs, but conservatives are so fragile now that we have liberals trying to trigger conservatives. This is the totality of American politics, by the way, for those of you who don't live in this country. Uh, but to have somebody call in, I'm, I'm joking about that, by the way, but to have somebody call in and say that she's an embarrassment, that's just that's just glorious. Now, I, I couldn't find all of uh, these examples that they were giving in People Magazine. Uh I don't think that the clip is posted online, but I did find one clip in particular that was absolutely amazing because she was just getting basically chewed out for, uh, I think it's like over a minute. I love this. Take a look. We accepted Trump for four years. You all refused to accept Biden. You refused to do it. And we, you know, we, maybe we didn't like Trump, but he won. And so that was it. You all, you all are not, you will not accept the fact that Joe Biden won. And that is the whole thing. You're not going to accept it. You're going to keep on and keep on and just pick, pick, pick. And you won't get anything done if you're not going to respect the man and realize that he's the president. You're not ever going to get anything done. You've got to work together. And you are not doing it. You're not doing it. And neither of the other Republicans. They're, they're just going with Trump. No, he didn't win it. He didn't win it. And wasted that all the money in Georgia have to count the votes three times because he said he won and he didn't. That was so good. So I'm picturing this little old lady just chewing out Marjorie Green. And Marjorie Green had nothing to say. That was uncomfortable to watch because she's just smiling. And you know she's just pissed, but she just awkwardly kept smiling. <laughs> you love to see it because this individual really is just, she represents the worst of the Republican Party. And I don't want to make it seem like there are any good elected GOP officials because there are none. But she just speaks to how far to the right the GOP has shifted to, to where they're just in straight up delusional authoritarian territory. And to see her own constituents rip her a new asshole and all she could do is sit there and listen and smile. That is just that is poetic justice right there. That's that's brilliant. I mean, honestly, real justice for Marjorie Greene would be her being in jail for inciting a riot for sedition, possibly based on her relationship with the people who organized the January 6th insurrection. But I'll take this as a close second where her own constituents chew her out and she can't say anything. One critique that I have about this show, if I can improve a recommendation to Night Talk, is answer the phone when it's ringing in the background. I mean, it was ringing repeatedly. Just answer it or put it on silent. That was very annoying. It was taking away from the enjoyment of this sweet old lady ripping Marjorie Green a new asshole. But either way, if I could find the clips, 
Uh, I will link them in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, but I, I searched and I couldn't find it. But that one clip was just amazing. And I will be uh, thoroughly searching for the full episode if I'm able to find this, if they even uh, put this up on a website somewhere, because this is a local uh, cable news station. Station, I, I think it's a public access show. Uh, I'm not sure, though, entirely. But um, yeah, this was still very entertaining and thoroughly satisfying to watch. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Come.